UFC Fight Night Song vs Simone goes down this weekend and here are my quick pick predictions for the full card. Starting with the early prelim opener of Hayley Cohen vs Jamie Lynn Horth. Hayley was signed off Dana White's Contender Series, she's currently on a two fight win streak. The only two losses in her career both come by way of submission. She's already had I think three fights scheduled to take place in the UFC and they've all fallen through for one way or another. So this will be her UFC debut. Jamie Lynn has a 100% finish rate. She's got three KOs, two submissions. This is also gonna be her UFC debut. For this one, I'm gonna have to go with the undefeated Jamie Lynn Horth to get it done here via submission. Then this takes us on to Brian Kelleher versus Journey Newsom. Kelleher is on a two fight skid, losing to Mario Batista and Umar Namagamadoff. No shame in either one of those losses. Journey is coming off a loss himself to Sergei Morozov. Kelleher has fought the much better level of competition. Journey was finished by Randy Costa, who's not even with the UFC anymore, and he had a record of six and four. So I think even though Kelleher is a 36-year-old bantamweight, I'm gonna take him to get the job here done over Journey Newsom. This takes us on to Stephanie Egger versus Irina Alexeva. All three of Egger's wins in the UFC have come via way of finish. She is very aggressive from the first bell to the last. Irina's nickname is Russian Ronda, and of course she's got an armbar submission win on her record. This is gonna be her UFC debut. I'm gonna have to pick Stephanie Egger to get the win here. This takes us on to Cody Durden versus Charles Johnson. Durden's bounced back well after his submission loss to Mohamed Mikhaev. He's on a two fight win streak. He got a finish over JP Bays. Charles Johnson is coming off a very questionable loss to Ode Osborne. He's been super active since he joined the UFC. He's had three fights in four months. This is gonna be a very close fight. I feel like these guys match up very similarly in a lot of departments but I am gonna take Charles Johnson to get the win. This takes us on to Natan Levy versus Pete Rodriguez. Levy has gone two and one in the UFC after he earned his contract on Dana White's Contender Series. Pete Rodriguez made his UFC debut against Jack Della Maddalena, and Jack beat the shit out of him. He then returned against Mike Jackson. Yeah, that Mike Jackson, the guy they brought in to fight CM Punk. Pete destroyed Jackson, knocking him out brutally. Again, I think this is going to be another very close fight. Natan Levy has the grappling advantage. I think Pete Rodriguez probably has the boxing advantage, but I am going to take Natan Levy to get the win. This moves us on to Martin Bidet versus Jake Collier. Bidet is on a 10 fight win streak. He's got two wins in the UFC, one on Dana White's Contender Series and seven elsewhere. His wins in the UFC are a little bit questionable. Last time out winning a split decision and the time before winning via technical decision. Jake Collier is on a two fight skid. Last time he got knocked out by Chris Barnett and in the time before that, a 250 year old Andre Arlovsky beaten by a split decision. For this one, I am gonna take Martin Bidet to get it done. He's on such good form and I just don't rate Jake Collier very highly. Then we have Marcos Rogero de Lima versus Waldo Cortez Acosta. How many letters is that? That's probably the longest two names together in UFC history. Anyway, de Lima has been in the UFC since 2014, but he's only really beaten the bottom feeders in the heavyweight division. Anytime he's had a step up in competition, he's lost. Waldo Cortez Acosta is 9-0. He's 2-0 in the UFC, but I honestly, I don't think he's that good. He's got wins over Jared Vandera, who's no longer with the UFC, and Chase Sherman. So two absolute bottom of the barrel heavyweights. I'm gonna take Waldo Cortez Acosta to get the win. This takes us on to Josh Quinlan versus Trey Waters. Josh Quinlan is undefeated 6-0. He won his UFC debut, knocking out Jason Witt in the first round. Trey Waters is the former LFA welterweight champion. He literally defended his title two weeks ago. He's stepping in here on super short notice. Due to the short notice nature of Waters' debut, I am gonna have to take Quinlan to get it done here. This takes us on to Julian Arosa versus Fernando Padilla. Arosa, last time out, was finished by Alex Caceres. Before that, he was on a three fight win streak. Padilla hasn't fought in over two years. This is gonna be his UFC debut. 
and I'm very interested to see how he performs with this kind of layoff. For this one, I'm gonna have to take Julian Arosa to get the win. This takes us on to Rodolfo Vieira versus Cody Brundage. Rodolfo, last time out, lost a decision to Chris Curtis. He's very, very dangerous on the ground. He's got seven submission wins on his record. Cody Brundage, last time out, was knocked out in the first round by Mikhail Olenzajic. So, safe to say, both of these guys could really do with a win here. This was honestly one of the hardest ones for me to pick but I'm gonna have to go with Brundage to get the win. This takes us to a co-main event, Kaya Bahalo versus Mihal Olenzajuk. Kaya has looked very good since he joined the UFC. He's gone 4-0, if you also include his Dana White Contender Series win. Olenzajuk is on very good form himself. He's on a two-fight win streak with finishes in both of them. This is another one, boys. I think it's gonna be very, very close, but I am gonna go with Kaya Bahalo to get the win. This takes us to our main event, Song Yedong versus Ricky Simone. Song is three and two in his last five with finishes over Julio Arce and Marlon Moraes. His losses came to Kyla Phillips back in March of 2021. And then September of last year, he lost via TKO to Corey Sandhagen when he had that huge cut above his eyebrow and the referee waved the fight off and the end of the fourth round. Simone is five and zero oh in his last five with wins over Jack Shaw, Rafael Asanzo, and Brian Kelleher. This is gonna be his first five round main event in the UFC. Both of these guys are super talented, very well rounded. They have cardio for days, but I am gonna take the underdog in Song Yedong to get the win here. Guys, which fight are you looking forward to most? How do you think the main event is gonna go down? Please comment down below and let me know and subscribe if you enjoy MMA content. Thank you so much.